Hi everybody, so in this video we are going to be talking about how we can change the volume of the notes we use in Sonic Pi and also the duration, meaning the length, like how long those notes play for uh, using these things called play function options. So this is the play function that we've used and options are just things that we can add to that to change the sound. So here I just have a regular play function with the number 60, so it's playing that note 60. Um, so the play function options, uh, the way we access those is just putting them on the same line as our play function here. So to do that, first thing you need to do is add a comma. So I hit comma, right off the bat you see we get this huge drop down menu of all the different things that we can add to that. Uh, so you can experiment with that. I, sometimes you might try it and it might cause an error message, so just be careful of that. But right for this assignment, we're just gonna focus on a couple of them. So the first one is how to change the volume. Uh, and we've been talking about sound and volume in our other lessons, so this one kind of connects. And the, the command we use is called amp, which is short for amplitude, which we know is the size of the sound wave, and the size of a sound wave is going to affect how loud or how quiet it is uh, based on the intensity. So amp is what we use to change the volume. Um, now. If I don't have amp, the default value is one. So when we hear a note play, even if we don't have amp written down, it's gonna be one. So there's no need to write your code like this because it's already gonna sound that way. But if I were to change the amp to two, now this note is gonna be slightly louder than a note that is one. So here it is as two. You can see in the scope there, we get a little bigger. I am just going to add another play, just sort of a regular, play there so we can sort of hear by comparison. So this will be just a regular and this will be the amp is a little louder. Okay, hopefully you can hear that on your headphones as well. I'm gonna put this up to maybe like four and we'll see how that works. All right, so you can experiment with how high you wanna get with this. I am gonna advise don't try and get too loud. Uh, you know, 10, 12, you can get up to, you can experiment with it, but I'm just warning you now, don't, don't wind up hurting ears or anything like that, okay? But that is the basic idea. So now we could also make a quieter sound. Uh, so here, let's say I have play, remember the amp defaults to one, so if I do 0 0.5, it's going to be a quieter sound. So here I go. All right, so there we hear it's a little quieter. I could do 0 0.2. Okay, and we can hear a difference. This one is louder than this one. Now, it's always going to be relative. So I could have maybe amp 2 here and then have amp 4 here. So just so you know, amp only applies, and any play function option is only going to apply to the line that it is on. So just this note. So if I were to put amp 4 here, and have nothing here, this note would be the only one affected, okay? And let's actually hear that. So instead of amp two, I'll just do nothing here, but then I play it. So this one is louder. This doesn't carry over to the next one, but just for the sake, I'll me put amp two here. Okay, and you could go the other way. So if I start this at maybe 0 0.4 and make this two, so this note's gonna be quieter and then this note will get louder. All right, so that is pretty much all there is to the amp option. Uh, so this you can just, if you've got certain notes you want to be louder than others, use the amp option for that, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is duration. So how can we change the duration? How long our notes last for? Because right now they're always just beep, 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 beep. There's always the same length. Uh, so we want options as we know notes can last for a longer amount of time. So we can do that one of two ways. We can have the note sort of fade out or fade in. And we're gonna start with a fade out and that is called release, okay? So again, I have my comma and I have release here. Now release takes a number uh, and that number is just gonna be the number of beats we want this to last. And over this number of beats, whatever I put after release is going to last and we're gonna hear the note fade out. So here I have play for 60, it's gonna release for four beats, which means we're gonna hear it fade out over four beats.
Okay, so there it wasn't just a quick beep, it held for a longer amount of time and it got quieter and quieter, a sort of gradual change. Again, something we talk about uh, like a crescendo or a diminuendo. Um, this, and we saw in the scope, the scope got kind of smaller and smaller. I'll do it one more time. So there you have it. All right, now the other way I can fade in, so instead of release, I'm going to do attack, okay? When you see it autocomplete right there. So attack is just the opposite. Attack, when we play it, it's gonna start very quiet and then get louder as the note goes on for however number of beats, in this case, is gonna be four beats. We're gonna hear it fade in. So here we go. Okay, so we hear the note fade in over four beats. Uh, so that is how you fade in a note. Now we can actually have a note fade in and out, but we have to make sure that is all on the same line. So I wouldn't put release underneath. So play, comma, attack, four, comma, release, four. And I could change this. Maybe I'll have it fade in for three. Well, I'll do this first. Let's hear that. Right, so the note faded in for four and then it faded out for four. As I was just saying, I could make maybe the note fade in for a different length than it fades out. So here it's gonna fade in for two beats and release for five beats. And just to know how long the whole note's gonna last, we just add these two numbers together. So two and five, so this would be about seven beats altogether. So it's gonna have a shorter fade in than a longer fade out. And then just for a very quick contrast here, let's have a sh longer fade in and a shorter fade out. All right, so that's how we use attack and release. Now, obviously, your code isn't just going to be one line that fade of one note. So we're going to be working with other notes as well. So now let's talk a little bit about how we use attack and release and notes to follow it. So here I'm gonna have a note that fades out for four beats. So this whole note lasts for four beats. Now let's say I wanna have another note play, uh, and I'm not gonna put the sleep in yet, I'll just say play 64 here. Let's say I want to have a note play after this note is finished fading out, okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to need to sleep for the same amount as the release because this note lasts for four beats. Okay, so because sleep starts right after this note starts, so it's not gonna wait. Uh, it's going to, we need to have it sleep for the length of this note. So in that case, it's gonna be four. Okay, so whatever my release is here, I want my sleep to be that if this note is going to finish after this note. So here we go. All right, so there you hear that note played after the release is done. I'm gonna make this maybe a little bit higher, maybe like 72, just so it's very clear when we can hear it, all right? So let's say I want the note to, this note to fade out, but I wanna have another note play before this note is finished, so they overlap, okay? So don't think that there's a right or wrong way to do this, it's all kind of what you want, but just understand the two different ways to do it. So if I only sleep for one, this note will start, and then after one beat, this note will play, but this note is still gonna keep going because it has four beats before it's finished. So here we go. Okay. And there you could see right there on the scope, one note was fading in. We saw another come and go before this note was done. I'll do that one more time. Okay, so there you see that note, and this note is still fading out, okay? And as you could, if I have four beats to work with here, I could maybe, I could have a few notes play uh, before that note has finished fading out here. Um, play 74, okay? So in this case, it's gonna play all these notes before because one plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is two. So these notes will all play before this note has finished. Okay, so this is a good way you can get some overlapping, create some harmony and things like that to happen. Um, and the same, same exact thing works for attack, just, so just to show you here. 
Okay, so we attack for four, we sleep for four, and then let's play sub d2 again. Okay, so it comes right about at the end of that attack. Uh, so, and then if I would just to do one, it happens before that note's finished fading out, okay? Now, just let's say we have a note that fades in and fades out. If we want that note to happen after uh, the fade in and fade out, we would need to add the release value and the attack value. So that's going to be 8 there, okay? So it's going to fade in and fade out, and then the note plays, but it's going to last for about 8 beats. There you go, okay? Now, obviously, if I wanted the note to play before it, it would just have to be less than eight. Uh, and I'd have eight beats. I could squeeze a bunch of notes in there if I want, all right? Uh, so that is the basic idea of adding duration, using attack and release, and then just thinking about the notes that come after it. If you want it to happen after the fade in or fade out, make sure the sleep value is more than the attack or the release or both added together. If you want them to happen before they're done playing, the sleep value can be less than that. So that is, that is all there is to this lesson. So volume, we used amp, and then durations of notes using play function options, okay? So for this, I created this additional resource here. So going over the volumes using AMP, uh, just reminding you, you need to use multiple AMPs if you want multiple notes to change volume. Duration, so release, fades notes out. Attack, fades notes in. Uh, attack and release, fade notes in and out. And then what we just talked about, following notes that fade in or out. So release, if it's more, equal, so the sleep value is equal to the release value, so the next note will play after the note is finished. Okay, sleep value is less than, this should be attack. So sleep value is less than the attack value, so this note will play before the first note is finished, and then this is if we want the note to play after an attack and release. All right, uh, if you go to the help tutorial with duration of envelopes, it'll talk more about that, so I can click on help here. Yep, there we go, and this one here, duration with envelopes. So if you want to take a peek at that, it talks a little bit more in detail about what these fade in, fade out, and release and attack all mean. Okay, I created a checklist for this assignment, so please make sure you are hitting all these things. So making a note louder or quieter using amp, make a note fade in or out using attack or release, make a note fade in and out using attack and release. Uh, this one looks like it's just a repeat, so I'll get that out so you won't see it when you actually look at it, sorry about that. Uh, then make a note play after a note is finished, make a note play before a note is finished after fading in or out, and then using the fade in and out, make a note play after that. So all that stuff we covered, all that stuff's in the reference, all that stuff's in this video if you just go back and watch, and that is all there is to it for this week, okay? Always, if you have any questions, you can just shoot me an email, let me know, uh, but that is it for this lesson.